<laughs> he's escaping through the tiny hole. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday. Um, had a good day so far. Um, did breakfast stream. Felt a little weird, actually, to do breakfast stream because uh, we took Friday off. We didn't do a stream Friday because it was Christmas. And that only added, you know, one day between streams because normally we do um, Friday streams. So the last stream that we had done was Thursday. And even though it was only the difference of one day, it felt like it had been a while since we did a live stream. So it was really a strange feeling, but it was nice to, to do it this morning. Um, otherwise, we've been working, you know, for, for most of the day. And now as we get close to the evening, uh, Mao is actually starting to repair the paintings that my dad did for shipping. Uh, you are all incredible. And uh, I knew that there was interest in my dad's art because people have been asking for literally years. But I, I did not quite expect it to sell as quickly as it did. Um, we put six pieces up on Etsy and all of them were gone in under three hours. So it was fast. Um, there will be more. We're gonna put up uh, a few pieces of art every month. And um, the ones that are handling the back end of it is, is Mal and myself. So we're the ones that are uh, doing the shipping. And I thought it'd be kind of interesting if we showed you that process because it's a little different than what we do for Mal Mix because um, you know these pieces are, I mean, they're, they're a lot smaller. They're, they're four by sixes. So what's the big difference? Um, with mine, because I'm shipping something so big, FedEx makes a really cool box that's meant to hold things like that. Yeah. And this is not going to fit the same. So I had to figure out. I mean, out. It, <laughs> it would it would fit. It so would just rattle around. Similar, and there are some things that are vastly different. Yeah. Um, so I'm still using glassine paper, which is kind of like wax paper, but it's a little bit different. And um, I'm I got these photo corners because I could cut them myself like I showed off in a video, but to cut that many is going to take too long, so I you can buy them. Mm -hmm. And um, so I have a note from your dad, and then they're just gonna get two because they're so small, and then I'm just using priority boxes. Okay. With, um, what is this called, honeycomb wrap, craft paper, because it's at least like recyclable. <laughs> Yeah. Unlike everything else. So I thought this would be good as filler. Okay. And that's kind of it. Like these small flat rate boxes work perfect. Yeah. For these ones at least. So yeah. I'm just going to put them together and wrap them in this and then that's it. Yeah. It's, it's a similar process, but with different, ultimately different materials. Yeah. Because they're, you know, different different sizes. Now all of these from the, the very beginning are, um, they're all four by sixes. Mm -hmm. And you know, my, my dad has done uh, a variety of, of sizes. Um, so at some point in the future, there might be some bigger pieces, but I know that he's, he has done quite a few four by six paintings. So we'll probably be doing, be doing those for a bit. But um, if you, if you're not already uh, you may want to, um, I don't know what it's called on Etsy. If you follow the store or like you favorite the store, the store you can you, you, you can go to stevepaintedthis.com, which will take you straight to the Etsy store. And you may want to like favorite it. I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. And then it should let you know when there's new items available. Now my plan is um, when there are new items available, to um, talk about it on the vlog as well. And uh, the, the, the goal right now, again, is to just put up a few every month. Um, so if you didn't get any uh, of the pieces in this first batch, uh, we'll be putting more up in January. And uh, I will let you know on the vlog, um, but if you wanna know like as soon as soon as they're, they're up, then I think I think favoriting the shop will tell you. Yeah, it should. I'm pretty sure. So you can get like a notification or something if you want to be like amongst the first people to see what's going up next. But um, again, thank you. Thank you all for, uh, you know, for, for supporting my, my dad's art. It, it, means, it means a lot to him. 
and and I, I said it before in you know a, a vlog from a day or two ago, but like I, I'll never be able to f adequately express how much it means to him. Oh, and another thing, if you if you did manage to get one of these initial pieces, um, if you once you get it and you you have it you know set up in your house, if you would snap a photo of it. Um, and and send it my way through through some means Twitter or something. Um, I'll I'll pass that along to my dad because I know that he would get a, a big kick out of that to to see that folks are enjoying his art. Obviously not mandatory, but if you do that, I'll certainly I'll certainly pass that on. Now, as we get close to dinner, we gotta figure that out because we don't have dinner figured out. We've no, been we eating, don't. we've been we've been eating Christmas leftovers. But we were really trying, we, we've been trying to like double step it because in the past we've, in my opinion, I think we've eaten leftovers for too long. You should really only eat leftovers for a few days. After that point, you're, you're starting to run the risk of, of getting sick. And then the fact that I was a little ill yesterday made me a little iffy about the whole thing. So most of the leftovers are gone. Um, at this point, there's just a, a few little things left but not enough to make a meal out of, so we're gonna have to make something. Do you have anything in mind that you want? Not really. Like, nothing? We have stuff. Yeah, I mean, I can I can do spaghetti, we could make pancakes, we could, we have- Pancakes sound good. Pancake, we also have an eclectic collection of things in the freezer. We do need to eat the things in the freezer. There's like- There's, there's like some gyoza, there's spring rolls, there's pizza rolls. Triple rolls. Yeah. It's like when you go to the uh, the the Applebee's or the Chili's, and in, and instead of a uh, an entree, you just order the appetizer sampler. I have done that so many times, <laughs> so many times. It's good. I mean, it's like all fried food, and it's bad for you, but it, it tastes good. So we're trying to make some progress on some frozen stuff that we've had for a bit. Um, one of them is these things: sea packed shrimp spring rolls. My parents dropped these off a while back. We haven't had a chance to uh, to try them out, so we're making half of this package. And then a while back, we bought uh, Totina's Pizza Rolls. This is it the combination flavor? Yes, yeah, so we're making half of these. I'm excited specifically to eat those pizza rolls because I haven't had pizza rolls in a long time. Maybe 10 years? I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, and then we finished up the uh, bag of pot stickers that we had bought a while back, and that's what's cooking there. So pot stickers, spring rolls, pizza rolls, and everything should be ready to eat in about eight minutes. Okay, so having prepared half a bag of pizza rolls, half a box of spring rolls, and then the remaining gyoza, I realize now that may, may have been more food than I anticipated. Of course you have sour cream. Course. Um, I also, <laughs> I'll, eat, I'll eat mine plain. Um, I also, I burnt the gyoza a little bit, not bad, but it said eight minutes and at seven minutes I was like, mm, I feel uncomfortable about this and then I lifted it and I was like, okay, yeah. But um, super interested to try, I haven't tried these shrimp rolls before and they have their, they came with their own sauce. Are they super hot or are they okay? They're hot. They're really hot? Mm-hmm. Well, now I'm a little worried. It's burning my fingers a little bit as I do this, so I'm like, ah, crap. Let's try this out. Mmm. How's the... whatever the sauce that is? It's good. It's a, um, chili? Mm -hmm. It's a sweet chili. Those are pretty good. You know, from coming from the... You know... Freezer. Mm -hmm. Those aren't bad at all. The um, that box had sixteen in it, so you need to be careful. I think you put your sleeve in your food. I watched you. I watched you reach over, and I was like, I think, I think you might have sleeved it. Now for the thing I'm most excited about, actually, it was the pizza roll, just because. Again, it's been a long time. Uh huh. I ate these a lot in high school, but. Ma'am, they taste the same. <laughs> they taste the same. And like, 
They're objectively not as good as just eating pizza, but they are unique, and they they taste like nostalgia, and mm -hmm. I think that that's worthwhile. Hmm. Well, if we do this again, uh, at least I'll have a better understanding of like how much food this is. This probably would have been plenty without the the pot stickers at all. So, yeah, I'll learn for next time. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna eat this. Um, have a little time before bed. Um, I was thinking, I need a shower anyway, so I was thinking about we might actually play a little EDR. I guess it'll depend how I feel after eating this food. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Not sure. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?